Hey guys, what's up? It's QB time, and in today's video, we'll be doing a review of the Yushin Blue 4x4. The Yushin Blue 4x4 is a recent release on the cubing market as of now. It's really the second mainstream 4x4 from the Yushin company and has a lot of hype attached to it. So, the question is, does it really live up to the hype and is it as good as cubes such as the Mini Aosu and YJ Guansu? Well, let's find out. The Yushin Blue 4x4 is available at thecubicle.us for a pretty decent price of $16. It has the slightly smaller size of 60mm on each side and is available in white, black, and stickerless plastic. The stickers on this puzzle are the now standard Moyu shades, I've had no problem at all and they look great on this puzzle. The turning on this puzzle is actually really good, however right out of the box it was quite slow and really really sandy, but after breaking this puzzle in and doing a many amount of solves on it, this puzzle has become very very nice. It has a very overall smooth feeling to it and all the layers turned very very well. The inner layers are still quite a bit sandy, however the puzzle does turn pretty fast on all the layers as well. Corner cutting is pretty average on this puzzle at about one piece or line to line on the outer layers at forward corner cutting. On the inner layers it's a pretty similar story at about one piece however they can get a little bit locked up. Reverse cutting is also pretty average at about a half a piece of reverse and you can push it just a little bit farther but it will sometimes lock up and same story on the inner layers for reverse corner cutting. All in all this means that during solves this puzzle does lock up infrequently and it's very very smooth when turning and performing algorithms. Overall, I really like the solving experience on this puzzle and it's one of my favorite 4x4s just to pick up and play with. The mechanism of this puzzle is quite unique and it does have its own traits. As you can see, next to the old Yushin 4x4, this puzzle is pretty nice and it has its own differences and it's also a pretty unique mechanism that helps it turn very nicely and smoothly during solves. All in all, I'd say this cube is above average. It's basically above the pack and 4x4 and everything, and it's really, really nice at performance. It has a great feeling, it's fast, it's smooth, and also it performs well during solves, and you can receive very good solves in very good times. So that's really about it I can say about this cube. There's not a lot to say. It's really a nice cube, and I really enjoy playing with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the Yushin Blue 4x4. Comment what you want to see next on my channel, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.